So how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. It's good right to be on. out here. A lot of cars showing up. Right on, right on. So what kind of car do you got right here? It's a 1995 Toyota Supra. Right on. And what do you have done to it? Just about everything except for the uh, the transmission and the uh, the stock end is still uh, or the bottom end is still stock. Okay. Uh, but single turbo T67. Upgraded uh, inter intercooler, fuel injection, ported, uh, cams, and then obviously you can see uh, body work. Right on, right on. Let's, let's take a look at it. Absolutely. <laughs> so what is your favorite modification done to the vehicle? Probably the uh, either the body work, the, the body kit, uh, still in front end, RMM uh, skirts, or the, the, the chrome. I know okay. you pop that hood and the, the, the chrome just kind of pops, uh, comes alive. But then after that, obviously, uh, I think the, uh, the single turbo, going from sing from twin turbo to single turbo, uh, makes a big difference. That's that's a smaller turbo, it's a T67. Right. Uh, but still, uh, pushes out some good power. And how much did you say it was pushing out? 685 for the wheels, 650 Six torque. Okay. Yeah, on the 85. And is it the stock block? Correct. It's right on, right on. Camshafts, cam gears, a very mild port. Uh, IS 300 uh, um, radiator and fans. Nice, nice. So there's some extensive work done to the vehicle. Exactly. What about your wheels? Those wheels are uh, let's techno speed. Okay. Are they hydro dip or are they, they are hydro dip? They have a carbon fiber look to them. It's really nice. So stock brakes, stock uh, calipers, painted blue, little blue inserts in there. If you'll notice, there's a little bit of Star Wars theme around here. The center cap has the Imperial symbol. Let's take a look at that. I put that in this one. That's really cool. <laughs> so I swapped out the uh, I swapped out the Toyota badge for another Imperial symbol back here in the back. Okay. The LED uh, tail lights. I just put those in not too long ago. TRD carbon fiber wing. The uh, license plate spats are dipped. Probably won't be able to see it, but I've got the the Nurburgring uh, sticker on there. Oh yeah, there it so, is, right there. Right before I left Germany, where I picked this up at, I got a chance to take it on the ring. Um, so this has been on the the world famous ring. I didn't do so well. Okay. But, uh, hey, that's all right yeah, though. It was a, it was a good time. It's a good experience to have. Now, how long have you owned the vehicle? I've owned it since uh, 2007. 2007, okay. Yeah. I'm not sure if I asked. Bought it in Germany uh, from a Brit that was over there. It's a US spec car. He had it shipped over. Okay. He had about 40,000 miles on it, and it's sitting about 53 right now, so I don't get it. I don't drive it much. It's kind of a weekend queen, if you will. That's all right, though. HKS Super Dragger exhaust. Let's take a look at that. Clear turn signals all around. And pretty much stock inside. If you want to show us. Now, is it true what they say that it's a Kind of like a fighter jet cockpit it is the way it's kind of wrapped around uh, the gauges the gauges uh, uh point look at you um backlit gauges here i've got the bti uh analyzer here and then uh like I said, everything else is pretty much stock in inside got a custom uh, shift knob here mm -hmm. the seats are still the original leather dash is still original uh, so on the inside, just looking at it, it uh, doesn't look like it's got much uh, until you pop the hood. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. This car is extremely clean, and thank you very much for your time, sir. I appreciate the chance to show it off. Well, thank you. thank you very yeah, much, sir. I do appreciate you. Of course. You have a wonderful one.